Welcome to Mount Calvary Lutheran Church's Daily Devotion for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. This week I've been sharing some of my favorite scripture passages, and the one today is kind of right up at the top, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, where the Apostle Paul writes, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now, you know what I especially like about these three verses? The three small words, by, through, and for. We are saved by God's grace, through faith, for works. And if we can just keep this sequence in mind, and we won't get confused as to our salvation. We are saved by God's grace. You know, Lutherans like to talk a lot about law and gospel. Paul says, we're not saved by our works so that we don't have anything to boast about. That's because God's law says we can't make it on our own or earn our way into heaven. God's law says that we are sinners sinners who deserve punishment, sinners who have fallen you know, far short of God's standard of perfection. And the law says that punishment should be death and eternal condemnation. But the gospel, the good news, is that we are saved by God's grace. You know what grace is? Think of the word grace, G-R-A-C-E, those five letters. God's riches, that's what grace is, God's riches, his love, his forgiveness, his salvation, given to us at Christ's expense, right? It cost Jesus his lifeblood so that we might receive this gift of eternal life. And we receive God's grace through faith. This gift of God comes to us through our faith. Our faith is passive. We simply uh, receive God's love and salvation. It's nothing we do. Faith is like the pipe, you know, through which God's grace comes to us. Imagine God's grace as the water in this big, huge, high water tower. And the water comes down through all the pipes till it finally comes through our faucet and we receive this water. We receive this faith, this, this faith, this water that wells up to us into salvation. That's how it works, by God's grace through faith. When I was in college, I remember some great theological uh, conversations, sometimes, you know, kind of arguments I would have with some of my friends. And uh, one of the sticking points uh, was the difficulty some of my uh, friends had in understanding that God's uh, grace is the only reason we receive our faith, that, that faith 100% receives this gift of God's grace. Well, if, you know, God reaches down, his grace comes down 10 million miles, we at least have to reach up one inch, one of my friends would say. Uh, well, actually, no, we don't need to reach up that one inch because God's grace is 100% responsible for the faith that we receive. Jesus did it all for us at the cross. You know that just before Jesus died on the cross, he said a very important word. He said, to telestai. It's a Greek word that means it is finished. The payment has been made in full. The gift of eternal life can now be given, and we receive that gift as 100% a gift from God. So, we are saved by God's grace through faith, for works. You see, you and I are to do good works, all right. We're to, to love our neighbors as ourselves. We are sh to show compassion to people. We are to help those in need. To, you know, we are to be peacemakers. Uh, and most important of all, we are to point people to Jesus, right? So that they might understand that he's their, their only savior from sin and death and hell. The savior whose grace saves us for all eternity. These good works we do, Paul says, have been prepared in advance, actually from eternity, for us to do. When you hear the words, we are God's workmanship, think of a great painter. 
working and, and painting his masterpiece on a canvas. We are the canvas. And God is that great artist. And he, he is painting in our lives his masterpiece of good works that he's prepared for us to do. So rejoice in the gift of your salvation. Rejoice that when you were powerless, Christ died for you. Rejoice that by God's grace, you are saved through faith for works. So that when people see your good works, they might praise your Father in heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you paid the price for our sins. You earned the gift of eternal life, which you now freely give to us through faith. May such faith be in our hearts that it is our greatest joy to do the good works of love and compassion and forgiveness and mercy that you have prepared for us to do. In your precious name we pray. Amen. God bless your day.